I'm Shank.com here, and today we're taking a look at Maverick Pro for Android. This is available for your Android device. Let's go ahead and check it out. This is essentially an alternative to the default Google Maps application uh, on your Android device. And this allows you to actually view a variety of different map sources. As you can see, right now we're looking at Nokia Maps satellite. You could just simply jump into the maps to view a whole bunch of different sources. Here we have uh, MapQuest, so we could take a look at uh, what MapQuest maps look like. Uh, a little bit interesting. And we could jump into, say, Microsoft Maps. Also a little different. And there's a variety of different sources, even things like Wikimapia, which is also a different source. It really depends on what you prefer. Some of them have a little more detail than others, and perhaps you like the color scheme of uh, some of these maps more than others. There's also uh, Microsoft Virtual Earth uh, map tiles for uh, satellite view. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is equivalent to the Nokia uh, map satellite. They're actually very similar, as you can see. There's uh, different ones for different countries, like Germany has hike bike map trails, outdoor active, outdoor active Austria, outdoor active South Tyrol, and things that are localized for that particular region. So you can check it out if you're in Germany, Austria, and other places on this list. And of course you have OpenStreetMap, public transport, and OpenStreetMap I believe it's somewhere down here. Um, Mapnik or one of these. Essentially, it's OpenStreetMap uh, map that you would find on the OpenStreetMap website. Perhaps. Oh no, that was loading. So there we go. OpenStreetMap cycle map. We have. Okay, so that's enough for maps. Let's go ahead and explore the actual application. Here in the bottom, we could tap the binoculars to view a variety of options. We have waypoints. We could place a waypoint and they will show up here. And you have some predefined uh, waypoints like the Eiffel Tower, the Egyptian Pyramids, and the Opera House. So let's go ahead and jump into the Eiffel Tower. As you can see, you could rename your waypoint. You have some GPS coordinates here. You have the address. And you have some notes that you could take. You could save it, you could show it on the map, and you could tap go to. That will basically give you directions on how to get there. You could also take a photo that will open up the camera. You could share it and edit the location, and that will take you to uh, the coordinate edit screen, which you could also get to uh, simply by going to uh, right here, latitude and longitude. You can manually enter your coordinates there are some options at the top to choose from different formats and you could tap save or cancel so let's just go back and explore tracks and this is basically uh, they will be recorded when you tap the record button from the main map here as you can see you could tap record it will start recording and you could tap the little compass and just swipe to the left to see the current progress of the recording. We're going to stop that for a second and just jump back into the binoculars and explore the places nearest to us. So if you tap on places, it will automatically look for the closest places and give you a nice long list of different places along with their distance, their name, and a little bit about them once you tap into each one. So let's go ahead and just explore Tim Hortons a little bit. Uh, as you can see, there's some reviews here. Uh, you could even scroll through pictures, which is pretty neat. And we could check out something like the nearby school. There's a little bit about the school. Again, some pictures from class, I suppose. And that's basically what you could do, and you could explore places nearby. Also, if you're into geocaching, you could tap on the caches and that will take you to um, the website where you could find different locations. This is uh, basically running in the web browser, so you could always access that online. Let's just tap back. 
And that's more or less, more or less it for the binoculars section. Uh, let's just jump back to the map one more time and just open up the Nokia Maps satellite. Now on the screen here, uh, there's a few different ways you can navigate. You could pinch and zoom to zoom into the map. Simply like this. Or you could tap the plus button and the minus button to adjust the zoom accordingly. Also, if uh, this is our current location here, indicated by this blue uh, dot with uh, the compass uh, indicating the direction. If you're somewhere over here and you want to get to your current location quickly, just tap this blue button and that will center right on your location. Also, in the bottom right over here, you'll see that there's a scale, which is really useful in uh, these kind of maps, not available on uh, your normal mobile maps. Also, let's just zoom in and place a point here. You could place points and you could also just tap them to make them active. It will show up here. Tap on the point and you could share the location of this point. You could edit the point and this is essentially the same as the screen that we were looking at before. You could rename the point. So let's say my point nothing exciting. You could also take a photo, share, edit location, everything the same as we saw before. Uh, let's just discard the changes. Tap on the point one more time and you could edit as we did just now, share the location, uh, search places nearby around this point. So uh, if this point is somewhere far away, you could search for places around that point or you could simply delete it and where that's what we're going to do now. And we'll just place another point just down the road simply by tapping the flag. And you could tap this uh, arrow and that will send your destination uh, if you're traveling there. Also, this button over here, uh, it's a little uh, mystical looking. Uh, simply tapping on it will disable the GPS. So that could come in handy as well. And if you tap on this compass over here, you could scroll through three different views. You have the compass. If you rotate your device, that will change. And you have this uh, screen that will show you your uh, speed when you're traveling, your altitude, your latitude, longitude, and the last fix. Also, you could do one of these, depending on how you prefer to see your information. So there you go, Maverick Pro for Android. A uh, pretty cool app. Go ahead and check it out on the Google Play Store.